the next morning you wake up in a 1.2 million dollar car how did i get here Okay, I'm not sitting here bragging. I'm trying to tell you guys what really happens. You got, you got to quit getting advice from people that don't make money. A month. Off passive income. Yeah, you probably guessed it. I made all this money merching. And if you absolutely hate merching, you, you probably should have clicked off the video already. And uh, if you guys haven't got into merching, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of tips. You know, everything I've learned. And I do want to take this a little bit deeper than, you know, just some RuneScape stuff. I even have some uh, pretty cool clips I want to throw in later. But yeah, I really just want to add that extra oomph to help you guys out and, you know, add some knowledge that really, really, you know, gave me the extra boost when I was starting out merching or just learning about money in general. And don't get me wrong, you guys are seeing all my merch wins. I had a lot of fails along the way, like 100 mil fails. I remember um, it was Monkey Madness 2 came out and they were talking about the new Javelins and the ballista all that stuff i bought like 500 to 700 mil into rune javelins and then the monster dropped them and just i lost 250 mil in one day so uh you know there, there was a lot of losses along the way but i learned a lot from it and to be honest that's how i look at it to lose 20 or 50 100 mil in this game for a very valuable lesson that could help me out maybe when i'm 30 investing into something you know it's really gonna help me out and i'm actually pretty thankful i've, I've took some l's also, another theory that's just not true is you need a lot of gold to start merging. Honestly, you can do it with one mil, five mil. There's so many items out there. And I'm sure in this video, you'll even see some items that you could even do or steal from me. Honestly, go for it. I mean, nowadays in OSRS, there's so many items, and especially like clue scroll items. You could buy Zamrock Koi for 5k, flip it for 10k, buy Zamrock Plate Legs for 65, flip it for 80k. I don't know the exact price, but there is some really good margins to be found in that area and just all around in like the clue scroll market. After all the years I've played, nothing feels better than logging in with a full GE, you know, merch tab just ready to go, except maybe like a 10, 20 mil, 30 mil drop. But honestly, it feels great, and I just want that feeling for everyone that's watching this video. Somebody just offered me five million more than I paid for. <laughs> and you know, merch runs only take five to ten minutes max, and if you combine that with a farm run, you're doing Slayer, getting free battle staffs, herb boxes, all these type of things, you're gonna make so much more money. And one more time, I'm not trying to boast myself, I really just wanna give all the tips I can give you guys and help you out, because there's so much people that you know can't even pay for a bond, and I make that in like a day. And how do you guys think I do so much drop parties and all that stuff? It's, it's quite easy to make money once you have money, and you know, even all the 99 guides I just posted, it feels so great. To read all the comments and see the feedback of just you know helping new players all that type of stuff so definitely give this video a like i put a lot of effort into it it would mean so much if you guys want to see more merch videos and if you don't just you know say you know piss off get back to the pking all that type of stuff but let's get into it guys yeah I also want to give a huge shout out to GE Tracker, a sponsor of the channel actually. They've been a sponsor for a couple months now and I've been using this site for over a year and I've made over 1 billion gold. It is the best merging site out there and the, the prices get updated every like 10 minutes. And it's not only a merching side, they have a whole bunch of like money making methods and uh, it's training and a whole bunch of different stuff like that. But I am mainly using, you know, the flip, uh, flip finder on here and we can just see there's so much items. And you know, you don't even need a lot of gold. Look at that black wizard robe, 360 to, that's a 150k flip. That's not bad, but yeah, this side is awesome. So yeah, feel free to look into it. It definitely helps out a lot. All right, so my journey began about a year and a half ago with merching when I really dove into it. And uh, I came across the richest player in the game, Wilson Magma. And man, he, he was one of my, my main mentors, honestly. I remember hitting him up, I had about 100 mil, and I had no knowledge. And we, we were friends through Deadman Mode, and uh, he streamed a little bit, I streamed, and yeah, he had like a 50 bill bank. He was able to get rich very early on, and then he would just monopolize all the Third Age items, and Elijahs and all that stuff, but he gave me a lot of tips. And you know, it really shows what a mentor can do for you. 
But after Ellie's peaked at 930 mil and started crashing again, I tried my hands in trying to flip Elite Third Age again. Given how many Ellie's there are in the game and how they were able, able to rise to 930 mil, I saw a lot of potential profit in Elite Third Age, like especially long swords. They were trading for around 500, 550 mil for quite a while. I bought one for 550 mil and I sold it for 650 mil. And then a week of not being able to buy back, I really wanted my longsword back, so I instant bought for 700 mil. And I guess it was the right move because I was able to sell it a little bit later for 999 mil undercut. Third Age Cloak had a pretty interesting history. It was the last Elite Third Age to come into the game and on a 650 mil and then they had a strong rebound. I wasn't online at the time so I missed out on an easy one build profit. And Ellie's also did not drop as much as I hoped for. They dropped down to 700 mil and... This site is called Merch Z or Z Merch or something like that. I used to use it all the time like a year and a half, you know, two years ago. And of course Wilson was at the, the top spot for the number one mercher on the whole site. But uh, nowadays it's more just, you know, posting screenshots and stuff. I feel like everyone has moved over to GE Tracker, which has, you know, the, the live the live feed it updates every like five minutes. So it is better for merching. Honestly, just feast your eyes. One of the richest dudes. And this is all from, you know, merching, not staking at all. He didn't even PVM that much, although he did end up getting like a max cape later on. And I think he's quit nowadays. So I think he probably robo traded and he's out of here. He had like 60 bill, which is like 60 grand. So I mean, he's probably on to bigger and better things. All right, before we jump into the main bulk of the, you know, the merches, I do want to show you some of the screenshots I found, you know, digging through my computer. And there's a lot of history in some of these screenshots. Just looking at this one, Pegasian boots are like 19 mil. They're 38 mil now. Rune darts are 750 and they're like 1.2. Uh, imbued heart. I don't even need to say that, but quite a nice flip. What is that? 9 mil? Wow. Look at that dragon kite shield. 67 mil. Um, I do believe they're a little bit cheaper now, although they're so rare. This screenshot is crazy. It's right when uh, Raids 1 came out, and we can see the dragon throwing axe. 150k. The dragon sword, 7 mil. And the bucklers are even 50 mil. Also found an old uh, Visage drop on the Hack to Max account. Very cool along with the Fury Ornament Kit. A lot of these screenshots are just, you know, uh, instant flips like within a day, but I do have some very long investments. Like this one, for uh, for example, is actually an OSR's mobile investment. I don't think any of this stuff will rise too much because mobile looks pretty good. I think it's going to be pretty spread out. So investing in the one thing wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be the best idea. And like I said, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like and uh, comment if you want to see some other type of merch idea. I really just want to put this out there to like inspire all you guys to get into it. And I still do have hundreds of clips, so I could possibly make a video similar to this. But I'm actually going to have to go through my screenshots for a couple hours. It is definitely harder than what you think. I probably ran into hundreds of screenshots just like this that uh, didn't have a connection to them. Like they were very juicy but I never took the screenshot of, of what I made profiting. So there was hundreds of throwaways, which was pretty damn sad. Now, here's the beautiful part, okay? I'm not sitting here bragging. I'm trying to tell you guys what really happens. You got, you got to quit getting advice from people that don't make money. You need to get advice from people that are doing deals, that are buying money, that are running businesses. I'm not trying to attack anybody. There's a lot of great advice out, of, out there, but I need advice that's current of people that are doing it. So when I was a kid growing up, when I went to accounting, the college prepares you for active income, active work, labor, time. So when you think about active income, this is the most highly taxed income. My goal has always been since I was 25, 26 years old, I want to have as much money coming in passively. Because if, if you're active working and getting money and you don't have this, ding, 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 healthy, unhealthy, hurt, unhurt, business stops or doesn't stop, technology gets to rest, what your goal should be is, hey, I need to match that with $100,000 worth of passive income. I want them both. Ultimately, what I want is more passive income than active income. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys a little sneaky story. This year, I will probably make this much money 
a month off passive income. It paid me $420,000. What is that, like a 4.5% four, four return? Somebody just offered me $5 million more than I paid for. <laughs> now, now, why, I, I'm not bragging. I'm trying to tell you guys, this is the model you want to use. Work your ass off. Take money. Park it over here. And when you find the right asset, buy it. Go all in on it. I made a big bet on this deal, okay? A big bet on this deal. I, but to me, it wasn't like a big bet, okay? You guys spend money on junk. I spend th money on things to do two things. They go up in value over time, and they pay me here. Passive income.
And you know, I am jamming a whole bunch of tips in the video, but this mainly wasn't supposed to be like a guide or anything. So make sure you give it a like if you actually want to see a merch guide video. And uh, just to sum it up real quick, like if, if I started from scratch, you know, from the beginning, what I would do is go kill green dragons. I'd go do farm runs, all that stuff, get like a three mil bank. I would keep with a D skimmy. I would never buy a fury, never buy a whip. I had an IRL friend. I actually gave him like five mil and the next day he went and bought a fury and like uh what was it, a d chain body and stuff and i was like bro i told you to go merch with that and uh we we sold the gear and then he went and made 500k in one hour with that gold so it it really shows my main tip is just don't hold on to the gold you know keep it flowing keep it uh moving around having the money work for you and once you start getting some experience merching, you can just go to like your go-to items that are kind of secretive, no one really knows about, and they're always good. I remember I used to do like Sandfew serums, and they've almost doubled in price. But yeah, Sandfew serums are always really... I remember I used to do a whole bunch of uh, Sandfew serums and Sinister Keys. Those were always like a K flip, and uh, no one knew about them. So you just gotta like find your own item, and I was running with those for a month plus. He wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He can't. I wasn't born that way. I wasn't born here. This, I'm a, a female. I'm an immigrant. I'm a minority. I'm a transgender. I, ex excuses. Reality. By the way, I truly believe those are disadvantages. I'm not naive to the shortcomings of this country. The problem is, nobody cares. The market doesn't care. So we sit and we dwell and that's all, what do you think we've been doing for the last month? And what we're gonna do tomorrow morning, we're gonna dwell and complain, and that's utter defense. Instead of going on the offense, and so we spend unbelievable amounts of time dwelling and wasting our time on dumb shit. Like, pe people literally email me and say, you're so lucky, and I wish this was happening to me, and then the third tweet, or the third Instagram post is, awesome Saturday, stayed home and watched an entire season of fucking Game of Thrones. It's an equal playing field if you're willing to be a practitioner and understand the ecosystem that I've been speaking about tonight. There's never been a better time to shut the fuck up. You guys like data? Who likes data? Great, let me give you some fucking data. More people in America will die from a coconut falling out of a tree and hitting you on the head and killing you than terrorism. Drinking old English, rags tied, hang side, on my 